Hey, 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 it's me, wardrobe stylist, Gugu Atkins. This is Guru Style. Guess what? You're not gonna believe it. I'm doing a shopping haul. So you guys know that I love shopping and I do a lot of shopping, but what you will not believe is that I don't do a lot of shopping for myself. I always shop in small doses. I'll pick up a skirt, a hat, maybe two, three things maximum, but this time I went on a shopping haul. I went to my favorite go-to store, which is Nordstrom, and guess what? I tried something new. I went to ASOS.com. I see so many other beautiful plus size people getting nice and trendy and current looks from ASOS, and I went on ASOS and lost my mind. I feel like I'm the only person in the world that doesn't shop online. Because of my curves and stuff, I'm just always scared that it's not gonna fit right. So today, I'm facing my fears. This is my very first shopping haul, and I'm a wardrobe stylist. Let's go take a look. All right, y'all ready? I am so ready. I think I'm gonna start with shoes. You can never go wrong with a Steve Madden shoe because it's always affordable. It's probably gonna hurt your feet, but they're always cute. Y'all, yeah, it's fringe fever season. So, of course I couldn't resist the fringe, but another reason why I got these is because they are a neutral color, and neutral colors go a long way. Um, oh, I also got these because they're a neutral color as well, and I love this little stud on here. I love it that it's not a spike, because spikes are over with. And then it's muted so it matches the complexion of the, the color of the shoe. This is such a versatile color. This is such a cute little baby gladiator sandal because the, the other gladiator sandals, they don't quite accommodate the size of my calves. <laughs> Can somebody make some? I just love surprising people. I love that every now and then I will bust out with a sneaker and still be just as cute. This pair is just a cute high top. And then it has these uh, gorgeous mint green and like a soft coral floral on there. And I just thought they were funky. What you think? This shoe, I would be honest, this ain't all the way a summer shoe because it's suede and it's black, but then it's completely open in the front. So then that tells me that it's okay to wear it in the summer because where I'm hot over here, the coolness will come in through this way. Now, I don't know whose rule that is. I just kind of made that up and that's my logic. Basically, I just wanted this shoe and so I got it. Now, let me tell you something. I got these because Gladiator sandals, well the ones that I'm finding, they just do not fit up my calf. Now there are some that fit up the calf of plus size people, but the ones I saw look a little cheapy. Anyway, these tie up the legs, so I can adjust the size. I can make my own gladiator sandals. Aren't these little hippie sandals just so cute? I love free people. And this box, ladies and gentlemen, is empty. You know why? Because I'm wearing these shoes today. I love lamb. Lamb hurts too, but they're beautiful. See, told you, Lamb makes such a good shoe in terms of it never, ever, ever, I've never seen a cheap looking Lamb shoe. And for those of you who don't know, Lamb is Gwen Stefani's brand and so is GX. GX price point is about anywhere from 79 to about 109. Um, very, very great prices. And Lamb is about anywhere from like 200 to 400. So this is Lamb, but there's also GX, who is very, very affordable and even more affordable if you wait till they go on sale. All right, and the rest of the shoes are from ASOS. I got a couple pair from ASOS and I'm gonna share them with you now. Okay, so blue is my favorite color. And when I saw this shoe, this blue spoke to me and you know what it said? Goo, get me and I obliged. Let me tell you something about colorful shoes and even colorful things. Um, this is my secret. So there are a lot of colors in here and let's say for example, if there was a color that isn't necessarily in here, I don't think I see red in here. But if I had on like a red top and some black bottoms, whatever, um, some, some black joggers or something like that, you don't have to worry about the exact color not being in here because what this does to the eye is it says that, oh, she has on red, red must be in there. And so guess what? Sometimes I wear tops that don't necessarily match my shoes because no one's sitting there like this. Okay, I see pink, I see blue, I see the, I don't see red. No one's doing that, all right? Oh, this next shoe is so yummy. So silver is back in full effect. Silver is so back. Silver said, I'm sick of being gone and I'm back, okay? So, 
These shoes are ultra silver and they have my little fringe. I get to fulfill my fringe fantasy. I get a bright, bold silver shoe, a nice sandal, feet out where I don't have to burn up. Um, I don't know what material this is. It definitely isn't real leather, but it's real cute. And this shoe is really affordable. When I get like a metallic shoe or a neutral color shoe, I don't mind spending a little more because I know I'll get a lot of wear out of it. Um, are we done with the No, 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 I have another pair of shoes. The sneaker broker gave me these. Um, he, he provides everybody and they mama with sneakers. I said, sneaker broker, can you give me some funky sneakers that are cute and girly and I don't know, and bright and I like bright things, I like sparkly things, I like girly things. So even though it's a pair of sneakers, they still bright and they still girly and they're so me. Thank you, sneaker broker, I appreciate it. So last night I went ahead and got this and I love her, she's a little clutch. I think I can wear her with everything. I could wear her today. It has a nice size in the inside, so you can put a good amount of stuff in there. This was 78 bucks, so I think it was a good steal. So, remember those Adidas I showed you? I was like, I need some Adidas joggers because I have some Adidas shoes and I may as well make it a whole little sporty event, sporty like situation. I'ma tell you something, I don't work out cute. My workout clothes are absolutely hideous. I don't look like a stylist. I don't look like a normal human being. I look like a hobo, and I could have possibly slept on the street for the past few days. But you know what? I don't care. And so I said, let me buy some cute workout clothes. Nope, not to work out in, just to wear. So I bought these, and I'm gonna wear them with my colorful Adidas. And then I bought this shirt. Look at the back of this shirt. Bizam! And I think it'll be something to wear on the airplane. I travel a lot and I like to, when I travel, I really like to feel like I'm almost in pajamas when I'm on my plane, but I don't do the pajamas thing. And while I'm there, let's take a pause. Dear grown adults, stop wearing pajamas outside. Get you something that's comfortable if you wanna be comfortable, but pajamas are to sleep in, all right? And now for the clothes. And I think if I went and tried the clothes on and showed you, that would work much better, don't you think? Okay, I'm gonna do that. And for this look, I didn't change a cotton picking thing because I got this skirt from ASOS. Now about this skirt, I got a size 14. It was too large in the waist, but it was also kind of large in the calf area. So I took it in about an inch down there just to have that nice clean mermaid pencil skirt. I bought these shoes in the dark. Like I didn't know what these shoes were gonna match. I just knew they looked amazing and I had to have them. And turns out that it matches the skirt and I'm wearing it today. How do you like it? And for my first dress, it fits. This is a size 12, it was more structured. When I bought this, I was a little nervous because I was like, okay, it's a structured 12, it's not a stretch 12. I hope I'm not gonna be in one of those predicaments where it's like that European thing, their stuff is a little smaller. But apparently in this style, this 12 is honest and it fits. I like this because it's a versatile piece. I feel like I can wear it open. I feel like I can wear it as a dress or I can wear it over jeans with a tank underneath. Um, I love this big belt. I love the large belt. I like that it's bringing the waist in. I also love pockets. And for probably my favorite look is this off the shoulder, hangy, slingy, fun, neutral colored. I don't have to hold my stomach in, yet I'm still feminine and cute dress. I have it paired with some Adidas, which is super comfortable. I mean, it's, it's cool to kind of do sporty mixes with something that's a little soft and feminine. Even though this dress is not fitted or anything, it's still really sexy, because off the shoulder is just sexy. It's just loose, it's perfect. When my sister Shantae comes over, she's like an 18. When she comes over, she can wear it. My skinny cousin Chandra, I'm 100% sure she's gonna bring her skinny size four butt over and put a belt on it and wear it, but we can all wear it. I'm wearing it first though, so we can establish that this is my dress. And guess what? I got the full outfit online and it works. So much for my fears. And this is another dress that I got from ASOS. Okay, about this dress, I got a size 12. It's kind of snug in the hips. 
I'm gonna tell you something. I no longer wear two small clothes. This dress is a 12. It is a structured piece, so there's no stretch in it, and it's like giving me a little trouble in the hip area. But it's also a little big in the waist, so what I'll do is I'll wait a while, I'll finish losing weight, and then I'll get the waist taken in and whatever else I need to do. I already knew my curves before I made the purchase, and you know what? That's just one of the prices you have to pay when you buy things online and you don't have a chance to try it on first. And this look is a combination between Nordstrom's and ASOS. This top is something I already had and it's from Nordstrom. These pants, these leggings are from ASOS. I got them in a size 14 and of course they fit in the thighs, remember? But this has a large band right here and it's a little loose so if I could have said, you know, give me a mix of leggings, a 12 in the top and 14 in the bottom, then that would have worked. But I couldn't do that. So I'm just going to have to go get a little bit of this cut off. But it looks good the way it is. It's not showing too bad. Now, typically, I would not put print on the bottom because I'm bottom heavy. And it's always good to kind of keep a solid where you're the most heavy because that can sometimes add size to you. But in this case, I don't care and I want to wear them and I feel like I'm bringing my waist in and other things in. So you can see other the smaller parts because I couldn't resist these leggings. Now these shoes, remember I told you that I got them from Nordstrom and I said, they're, they're kind of a fall shoe, but I want them and I'm going to make them my summer shoes. And as you can see, the shoes worked out. They don't look all big on my foot. My foot doesn't look like it's dangling in the shoe. Another thing I got from ASOS in addition to these shoes are these jeans. Now these jeans are okay. I've had these curves all my life, so I'm used to this right here. These are actually supposed to be boyfriend jeans, so they shouldn't be this tight in the thighs. And since they are, and I can still fit them and they're not quite baggy boyfriendy, I'm just gonna get them taken up a little bit in the waist or just wear a really good belt so that way I can still wear it. And I know you guys are thinking, Goo Goo, you didn't tell us nothing about that headband you got on. So I'm gonna tell you now. I just threw this in just for added flair. It's from Shop Feline. I love their headbands. Again, these items are bought from Nordstrom. The Bermuda shorts are a pretty basic piece that can be used all throughout the summer. Um, as you see, it's a little bit dressed up. The interesting thing is this blazer is not actually a playful blazer, but I made it playful. And that's what's super versatile about blazers, especially a blazer that's not too, too fitted, too snug. It's a little comfortable. I'm gonna be honest, it's snug on the arms because I got big arms. I thought it was so befitting. What you think? I have a bit of a confession. This dress only came in plus size. So I did get it in a 14 and I had about mm, three inches on each side taken in. So it can give me a little silhouette there, but it's not like too fitted. I started looking at all the floral print and something came over me. It said, you know what? Bell out these sleeves. So I asked my seamstress to bell out my sleeves. And so I have a complete 70s hippie cutesy thing going on. And also, please do not fail to notice my homemade gladiator sandals. I know they're not official gladiator sandals, but to me they are because it is a strap going up the leg. So what if they don't just come like that? They're going up the leg and they fit my leg dog on it and I feel better because of it. I'm gonna be honest with you, this headpiece is way more fancy than I am. My assistant Amber does all this sort of cutesy stuff and so I felt all 70s-ish and I don't typically wear this stuff, but I'm always about pushing myself and just trying to be cute. I cannot believe I just did all this shopping for me, my own clothes. I grew up in a household with 13 children and so we hardly ever got our own clothes. My stuff was always passed down from Aaliyah to Eric and Tina down to me and then I finally got it. And it was from the thrift shop to begin with. So today was just super duper special and so a bit of advice I would give to you when shopping online. Don't be afraid to shop online. I did it and I survived. All you have to do is get that sizing thing right. When you're shopping online, buy a size up and then get it altered if you have to later on. Thanks for hanging out. Can't wait to see you next time. Do you have anything else you wanna hear me cover? You want me to talk about it? Leave it in the comments below. For more fun videos, check us out right here at the WeTV YouTube channel.